Hi folks, John O'Leary from Horse Problems Australia and welcome to the podcast of the week. Today's subject is about leading horses and I've been meaning to do this for a few years but I've got an opportunity here today because we've, uh, we've just put some netting over some fruit trees here and Mrs HP's young new dressage horse, I've got to go and catch him and I can tell that he's not going to like it. So sit back and examine the difference between the British Horse Society Pony Club style of leading horses and that of natural horsemanship. Thanks. Um, this, this part of the DVD is to um, hopefully show you some of the actual uses for natural horsemanship. Um, and I want to talk to you now about the, um, the difference be differences between leading horses in the natural horsemanship way versus the, um, the British Horse Society Pony Club racing um, way of leading horses, which, which is normally accompanied with webbing halters and six foot long lead ropes. Um, and with people holding onto the horses, as I say, by the beard for full control. And they are brainwashed um, that holding horses here gives you maximum control. Um, and it drives me nuts. You don't see the Western world doing this. It's, it, it comes from the English world and it is highly dangerous and yet try and convince someone who, who has been brainwashed to lead like that um, and they have difficulty in unravelling themselves and being able to get down a rope away from a horse because they think that this is where their control is because that's what they're taught right from little kids upwards. Holding horses up there, especially these massive big warm bloods, athletic warm bloods and young horses is highly dangerous because if they leap and jump they will just rip rip the rope through your hand, rope burn, gallop away, possibly kick you in the head on the way out um, because we cannot pit our strength against that of a horse. He is 10 times stronger than I am um, and 20 times stronger than a little kid um, and so we need to be down the rope to be able to get that loopy rope to snap, to spin a horse around of this size, to take control of them um, for our safety and for control and for risk management, not losing the horse that runs around the car park out the gate, gets hit by a car, the list goes on. So this particular one here, even though this horse is really not natural, nat natural horsemanship trained, this is my, uh, my wife's young new dressage horse, and he's not nat natural horsemanship trained, he just acts, acts nice because it's just the way we act um, on a daily basis. But he hasn't been taught natural horsemanship. However, he is extremely paranoid about the fact that down here behind the cameraman we have fruit trees <laughs> and yesterday we put netting over them. And he has been growing two hands higher in his yard here, looking down here, down the garden path, at, there he goes, <laughs> at the spooky whatever it is down there. And therefore it's a good photo opportunity that he may try and run, spin, whatever here. And I just want to show you um, under the most excruciating circumstances if he does, that, that you can control a horse far more adequately down the rope and especially one that's natural horsemanship trained. Um, but the other thing is that you must never get paralysis of the analysis about the seven games. And that is that the yo-yo game probably would not work with a frightening set of fruit trees with netting on them, with a young horse trying to barge past or, or leap over the top of me. You just need to take control of them first, become the leader, take their mind off whatever it is that's frightening, and actually be more frightening to the horse than the netting on the fruit trees to take control of their mind and get back to square one. And so you do that by the power of the loopy rope to smack 
or whatever else is required to do. So the cameraman will just go and uh, set up because we've got a bend here and you won't see me walking. Um, and the cameraman will move back a bit. So, um, and you'll see there the, uh, the fruit trees we're talking about. Of course, doing videos with uh, children and animals, um, as it's often said, things may not turn out as we say. However, uh, if they don't, it will only be because of the, the strong leadership of us and the leadership of our attitude and our relaxed nature that the horse would trust us in the first place anyhow. And leadership also comes from a loopy rope and control from afar versus fighting with horses' faces, which is anti-leadership because you, you pit force against them. Force meets force. Again, I would have been dragged off my feet there. Walk on. Now don't. Come here. Don't ever take your eyes off a horse like this, otherwise they'll run over the top of you. Walk on. Good boy. Good boy. Have a look at it. Good boy. Good boy. Snip. Good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Good boy. And this is where we don't want them jumping on top of us. And you can imagine trying to hold on to that horse in that circumstances. And so I, I would think that that would prove, uh, prove the system and prove the point. Why natural horsemanship, control of horses and getting down ropes, especially with stallions that are, that are standing on their hind legs and rearing, um, and it also proves the point that you can forget forget all about six foot lead ropes because that is just a waste of time and you would lose the horse every time. The other thing about that I want to tell you about um, about this leading by the beard as I say horses that, that get trained and led by the beard <coughs> end up psychologically in need of standing on top of your feet. And they jump on your head every time something <coughs> untowards happens. And this drives horsemen and horse trainers and horse breakers insane because the first day that we get the unbroken horse into our round pen and we start doing things frightening, all the horse wants to do is jump on top of our head and endanger us greatly and it's caused by their psychological need and brainwashing to be on top of you and standing here like this, which is why the value of the yo-yo game is so important in your initial training to actually unbreak the psychological profile of them because as you know, and as I'll show you, you can't, uh, they simply cannot stay out of your space because they can't handle it because they have to be sitting in your lap and this is another another very bad aspect of of um, the the British Horse Society way of leading horses and you can imagine um, Mrs HP trying to uh, tr trying to lead this horse down there then um, with her 54 54 kgs. Now, you, you can all, just incidentally, this horse also stands up a bit close, and he came from an English jotty type of a boy. Um, Linda's done a little bit of work with him, but you can see also he's still too close, wants to be too close, and wants to be encroaching on me as his comfort zone, even though he's, he's very good compared to a, a lot of them. I'd better walk him down here a few more times. 
and those horses that are brainwashed to stand on top of you, when they gallop from behind you, they will run over the top of you, they won't run past you because they think they have to be on you. Okay, have a decent look. Good boy, he's a lovely boy, yes he is. I better talk to you. Better not, eh? Better talk to you. Hey, good boy, hey? You snip a good boy? Here, have a good look. This horse, is very, this horse incidentally, is very bold. Um, and that's typical of a bold horse that he will go and investigate. But it just shows you, even though he's bold, good boy, um, what can happen. So there you go, the difference between natural horsemanship way of leading horses, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, good boy, good boy. He was too close there, and he should be back a little bit further with this netting behind him and that psychologically to send him back backwards towards the netting is even even very good for his brain to make him have an independent mind because they can only have an independent mind if they are out of your space and that makes bold horses all right next subject soon thanks very much all right.